but mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 teen movie couples with the best chemistry. I love you. For this list, we'll be looking at the romantic pairings from teen-centric movies that were most easily able to make us believe they were actually in love. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10. Jess and Joe. Bend it like Beckham. That even with the distance and the concerns of your family, we might still have something. Don't you think? Bend It Like Beckham is one of the very best teen friendship movies of its genre, but in addition to the wonderful relationship between Jess and Jules, it also features a believable romance. Joe, who is their soccer coach, factors into a sort of love triangle with the pair, leaving you wondering who will eventually end up together. There are undoubtedly some problematic power dynamics at play. You didn't have to shout at me. Jess, I am your coach. I have to treat you the same as everyone else. With those aside, it's clear which girl Joe has more chemistry with. He and Jess have a flirty, lightly antagonizing quality to their banter that sets them apart. Sorry, Jules, but we're team Jess and Joe on this one. I can't believe you kissed him. I didn't. Yeah, right. Number nine, Hazel, Grace and Augustus. The fault in our stars. Okay? Okay. The Fault in Our Stars is one of the most popular young adult romances of the past decade. Perhaps okay will be our always. Okay. The story revolves around two teenage cancer patients who fall in love after attending a support group. A lot of the film's success has to do with the undeniable chemistry between lead actors Shailene Woodley and Ansel Elgort. Wow. What? <laughs> you look gorgeous. From the very first time Hazel Grace and Gus meet, the electricity between the two is palpable. The actors have to share some very emotional, very heavy scenes together, while still acting like believable teenagers in love. I don't think you're dying, Augustus. You've just got a touch of cancer. Both do a great job portraying the awkwardness and tenderness of youthful romance with ease. Number 8. Romeo and Juliet Romeo and Juliet You can't get much better than the classics, and 1996 Romeo and Juliet is nothing if not a classic, beating out several other iterations of Shakespeare's well-known tragedy. Directed by Baz Luhrmann, it stars Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes as the two ill-fated lovers and the actors more than understood the assignment. Trust me, love, all these woes shall serve for sweet discourses in our times to come. Both DiCaprio and Danes deliver performances as big and emotional as their roles demand. In the scenes where the title characters first see one another and fall in love while staring at each other through a fish tank, you can practically hear their hearts fluttering. That energy carries through the whole way and always touches us. My life were better ended by their hate than death provoking. Wanting of thy love. Number 7. Megan and Graham. But I'm a cheerleader. It goes without saying, but conversion therapy is anything but funny. Yet this LGBTQIA black comedy finds a way to take the terrifying premise and turn it into a satirical delight. I'm a homosexual! But I'm a Cheerleader is a cult classic and features a standout performance from a young Natasha Lyonne. It also delivers one of the best queer romances to date with the relationship between Lyonne's character, Megan and Graham. Graham. <laughs> Never felt that way before. Graham, played by Clea Duval, is more at ease with her sexuality and comfortable in her own skin than Megan and helps her find her way. The tension between the girls is sweet and quirky, solidifying this couple's spot on the teen movie romance hall of fame. One, two, three, four, you're the one that I adore. Five, six, 
seven, eight, don't run from me, cause this is fake. Number six, Sutter and Amy, The Spectacular Now. You know, Amy Finicky, I was having a really rotten night last night until you came along. James Ponsoldt's sweet and sensitive coming-of-age romance is a quiet, underrated movie that perfectly captures the troubles of the transition between high school and college. Embedded within that tale is the romance between Sutter and Amy, portrayed in lovely fashion by Miles Teller and Shailene Woodley, respectively. Sorry, I don't know how to dance like Cassidy. Hey, you dance like Amy. That's perfect. The two couldn't be more different. Sutter is popular and charismatic, Amy is quiet and shy, but the actors beautifully bridge that social gap to find and foster a real, layered spark between their characters. The resulting on-screen relationship feels magnetic yet grounded in reality, and that authenticity elevates every aspect of the spectacular now. You're all that matters to me. Number 5. Lara Jean and Peter To All the Boys franchise Director Susan Johnson's 2018 film is one of the best romantic teen comedies around and kickstarted a beloved franchise. Let's do this. Based on Jenny Hans' novels, so much of the three films' success is due to how they convert Hans' wonderful books from page to screen. But we don't think they would have been nearly as good if it weren't for the absolutely stellar chemistry between Lana Condor and Noah Centineo. There's no one like you, Cody. Their characters, Lara Jean and Peter, need to leap off the screen in the same way they did in the source material. It's a lot of pressure to put on two actors, but the pair act like they've known each other their entire lives. Their easy flirtations are electric, and they're a joy to watch. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Number 4. Tyler and Nora – Step Up A pairing so great, the actors got married in real life for a time. A lot of things that I want now that I didn't used to. I even catch myself every once in a while actually thinking I can have them. When Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan showed up on the set of Step Up, we have to imagine that everyone burst into flame. If the magnetism between the two behind the scenes was anything like it was on screen, how could they not? Step Up is about two very different types of dancers coming together to create one amazing, cohesive routine. Not only do Tatum and Dewan have great romantic chemistry in their scenes together, their dancing relationship is off the charts. They move so freely with one another, making everything look way easier than it is. Number 3. Kat and Patrick – 10 Things I Hate About You Heath Ledger's heartthrob status in 10 Things I Hate About You is undeniable. His charm is plain to see, and he gets a lot of deserved credit for making the film work as well as it does. You never give up, do you? Was that a yes? No. Well, then, was that a no? No. I'll see you at 9.30 then. But today, we'd like to give a little more credit where it's due, because the hypnotic bond between Ledger's Patrick and Julia Stiles' cat deserves just as much love as any one performance. Hey, your eyes have a little green in them. <laughs> Both characters are pretty abrasive and like to live in the outskirts of everyone else's drama. They start out kind of at odds, but watching how the actors start to drop their defences as the characters become closer is a sight to behold. We can't keep our eyes off it. Number 2. Baby and Johnny – Dirty Dancing They look great together. Yeah. You'd think they were a couple, wouldn't you? Well, aren't they? Sometimes, love behind the scenes translates to love on screen, but in this case, the actors' dislike for each other might have had something to do with the passion we see. 
before working on the 1987 film, Jennifer Grey and Patrick Swayze made Red Dawn together. They reportedly didn't have the best relationship on that set. We're supposed to do the show in two days. You won't show me lifts. I'm not sure it turns. I'm doing all this to save your ass. What I really want to do is drop you on it. But their spark during the Dirty Dancing screen test was so magical, there was no choice but to pair them together again. As Baby and Johnny, the actors are passionate, physical, and deliver sexual tension you could cut with a knife. It's the kind of alluring dynamic that draws you in and is impossible to ignore. There must really be a thin line between love and hate. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Sam and Austin, A Cinderella Story. Kissing in the Rain Never Looked Better. Landon and Jamie, A Walk to Remember. We still feel their love all these years later. I told you not to. Bianca and Wesley, The Duff, will take that wise cracking energy any day of the week. I've been meaning to talk to you, Toby. I'm really, really into you. Don't tell me. Tell Toby. Toby Tucker, I didn't know you were here. I have feelings for you. Eric and Rod, Edge of 17. Summer love equals the hottest chemistry. Hey, little boy. Good note. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Torrance and Cliff, bring it on. Who knew brushing your teeth could feel loaded with such sexual tension? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Diane and Lloyd – Say Anything When you think of Say Anything, you probably think of John Cusack's character holding a boombox over his head playing Peter Gabriel. But when we think of Say Anything, the first thing that comes to mind is the perfect chemistry between Cusack and his co-star, Ioni Sky. The relationship between Lloyd and Diane has to become solidified quickly in this film. So it's your job this summer? Job? Being a great day. No, I'm serious. So am I. I want to see you again. I want to see you as much as I can before you leave. When it starts, Lloyd is harboring a crush, but the two haven't ever really hung out. For the story to be effective, the actors have to make us believe this thing could last longer than the summer. They knock it out of the park in the span of the character's first date, making us root for Diane and Lloyd the rest of the way. I love you. How many more times do I have to say it? One more time would be nice. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.